Alright guys, today we are going to be reacting to Friedrich Wilhelm von Steiben, which is basically the first uh, general, I think a drill sergeant. This is one of the... Uh, hmm. One of you guys just shared this with me in the, in the Discord. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Make sure you like to subscribe. Let's jump in. 1777, White Marsh, Pennsylvania. A battered Continental Army, or what remains of it, marches north through the driving snow in search of winter quarters. Ah, in Pennsylvania? Hmm, that thing is so cold, folks. That thing is so cold. My God, that... Oh, oh. Bro, we still... In, in Pennsylvania, when I moved back to Wisconsin, we had to go through Pennsylvania. Folks, that was in April. And it was 10 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and there was snow everywhere. The year's campaigns have taken a heavy toll on the soldiers. Their clothes are tattered, their spirits down. The Commander-in-Chief, George Washington, is feeling the strain as well. Washington's hands-on approach wins the admiration of his soldiers. And he assures the men that he himself will share in every hardship and partake in every inconvenience. On February 17th, a new recruit arrives in camp, sent by the American Congress to aid in the cause. He calls himself Frederick William Augustus Heinrich Ferdinand, Baron von Steuben. Golly! Oh, my goodness, what the hell with that name? The task, to create a single method of training, a critical step towards a more professional army. And to do it before the winter is over. Von Steuben embraces the opportunity. The Baron starts small, spending hours each day working directly with a model unit that will be used to train the rest of the army. They are tactics that are new to Washington and his army, tactics learned during the Baron's service in the Prussian army. But he makes an important adjustment in the way he teaches them. Under von Steuben's tutelage, the soldiers learn how to form solid, orderly columns. How that is to properly so load and fire a weapon in form. That is so important. Making sure that everything is just orderly and detailed because that make a very efficient army. Uh, and a lot of these folks from the uh, American Revolution, they were just regular folks from the countryside. I mean, these people, you only have a rifle and only use it for hunting kind of thing. So for them to introduce the, the drilling and all that stuff, it was a big deal. ...and the proper use of a bayonet. In a matter of weeks, the ragtag unit is marching in lockstep. Soon, every soldier is taught the von Steuben technique. It becomes the foundation for the Army's first training manual. Wow. Washington's army is slowly remade. Wow. It is nearly battle ready. The efforts of Baron von Steuben and Green over the winter at Valley Forge have given Washington confidence that he has an army that is now ready to take the fight to the British. Let's go. <laughs> Back in America, George Washington prepares to take the fight to the British Army, looking for the battle that will restore his reputation once and for all. George Washington. Three months of drilling have given Washington a new confidence in his army. The efforts of Washington, Nathaniel Greene, and Baron von Steuben, whose service has now earned him the position of Inspector General of the Army, have emboldened a force that is now 13,000 strong. Not only that, it gives them confidence. It gives them a lot of confidence. When you, when you, be, when you are become good at something, right? Not only you master it, but you become confident. And a lot of these drills not only makes the soldier orderly uh, easier to give order, but confidence. I mean, I know you have to go to war and just shoot, right? However, you have to start somewhere to just. Give the sense to a lot of these soldiers. Give the sense to a lot of these soldiers. Uh, the sense of secureness and security. And pff, introducing the drill, man. Ooh, that's 
that's a different ball game. Washington's perseverance through the hardship of the winter has held his army together. He is now Wait eager that. to test the mettle of his soldiers, and the British are about to provide the perfect opportunity. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's just read a little bit about Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben. 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 I have a little bit of problem pronouncing the S with the T. Steuben. Steuben. I think Steuben. So, Fred, uh, let's see here. Uh, was born in 1730, November. Yeah. So, seven, September 17th, 1730. Also referred as a Baron von Steuben. Uh, Baron, I see Baron was a Prussian military officer who played a leading role in the American Revolution War by performing the Continental Army into a disciplined and professional fighting force. There we go. His contribution marked a significant improvement in the performance of U.S. troops. Uh, he's consequently uh, regarded as one of the fathers of the United States Army. And when it comes down to American history, Germans are everywhere, everywhere. Even our music, when you listen to American music in the late 19th uh, century, it's German music. Even though you still have a lot of very good composers, so, such as Maurice Gauchat, Casca, Joplin, they're more like a folky American kind of style. You have uh, the um, Edward McDowell's and all the great composers giving a little bit of that late romanticism color to a lot of these uh, American music. So, you know, it, it's very close and tied together. And a lot of our military forces in the United States were comp uh, comp uh, comprised with a lot of Germans. Let's see here. Um, born into the military family, Steuben uh, was exposed to the war from an early age. And f at 14 years old, he uh, served his father directing the Prussian engineers in the uh, 1744 siege of Prague. Oh, at the age of 16 or 17, he enlisted in the Prussian army, which which was considered the most professional and disciplined in Europe. Look at that. Uh, during this, the, his 17 years of military service, Steuben took part in several battles in the Seven Years' War between uh, 1750 and 1763, rose to the rank of a captain and became an ID camp to King Frederick II of Prussia, who was renowned for his military prowess, prowess, prowess and strat strategy. Steuben's career culminated in his attendance of Frederick Elite School of, for Young Military Officers, after which he was abruptly discharged from the army in 1763. Alleg uh, allegedly by the ma machination of a rival. Machination? What is that? Mach machination? Of what, what the hell is that? Machination? I think. Machinations. Machination. Okay. Machination. Very interesting individual. Uh, he was born in, yeah, he was born in Russia, which was Germany. Mandelberg. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, it's the capital of the German state Saxony Hunt. Inhalt. The city is situated at the Elbe River. Beautiful. And he died in New York. Very interesting. Well, here we go. Uh, this is again, uh, again, let's talk about Germany's. Germany's greatness just uh, influencing a great nation like the United States. But I have a lot, I, I was watching a lot of. Germans even located in Brazil, in Argentina, and some of these regions where they're very highly populated by Germans. Those places look amazing. I mean, we're talking about clean areas, very Germany-ish kind of places. So I'm not, I'm not surprised that even an individual like Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben did contribute to the American army. So... But let me know what you guys see in the comment section below, and I always, I will see you in the next one. I'm out.